The two most talked about crop circles of 2016 appeared on July 19th and July 20th, 2016. The first one appeared in Rygate, Surrey on 7-19-16. It is an alien face inside a circle with 14 sections above the head and a lower area looking like a body. Then on July 20th in Chiselton, Wiltshire, this crop circle appeared. It's a globe inside five layers of circles with strange symbols in four of the five layers. So what do they mean? Like most possible alien messages, there will be no answers. Because only the sender could have known the true meaning of the messages. But it does not mean we cannot try to decode. Are you ready to see my decodings? It is easy to interpret the center of this crop circle. It is the face of an alien. Possibly the sender identifying him or herself as the sender of the many crop circle messages we have recently received. But what is the 14 sections around the head? Let's look at several possibilities. Maybe we are too annoying. What on earth do I mean? I mean our conflicts, violence, and hatred against each other has made the alien watcher's hair now stand on end. Or maybe that's just their new hair fashion. Or maybe it is the image of the sender standing in front of the camera. What do you think? Okay, all joking aside, this crop circle, if it's not man-made, could reveal some very important messages. If the 14 sections do represent a 3D illustration of a tunnel, then the alien face in front of the camera can mean the end of the journey to the Earth and it's time to meet us face to face. For that, I want to bring your attention to another super famous crop circle. This crop circle appeared in Sparsholt, Hampshire on August the 21st, 2002. It is a pretty scary alien face next to a big circle with lots of blocks. When decoded by assigning a value of zero to blank space and one to blocks, the decoded crop circle reads as, beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. Believe there is good out there. We oppose deception. Conduit closing. Zero times zero seven. Please note this crop was decoded in 2002. So if there was time then, there may not be much time left now. However, this crop circle talked about conduit closing which must mean before it's closing, it was open. Was that the chance for us to make contact with the senders? It sounds that way, doesn't it? To better illustrate this crop circle, let's look at another crop circle which appeared on August the 21st, 2001. It appeared exactly one year before the alien face crop circle and is shocking because it seems to be the direct answer of a radio message we sent in 1974 to space. The so-called SETI message. In that message, we described our numbering system, what we are made of, our DNA, the human figure, our population, our solar system with Earth being called out, and the radio we used to send the message. The August 21st, 2001 crop circle seemed to be an answer to our SETI message. It identified itself with the same numbering system, showed they are made of silicon instead of carbon, and they seem to have an extra DNA strand with larger heads and small three foot, four inch bodies. 
They have a population of about 12.7 billion and occupied the third, fourth, and fifth planets in their solar system. They also showed their communication device. We only can tell it is not a radio like ours. But what is it? That is still a mystery. And seven days before this answer crop circle, on August the 14th, 2001, another alien face appeared. To me, this looked more like the twin tower broken into pieces after 911. But most people call that an alien face. In my 911 crop circle decoding, I thought it was the sender revealing of their identity. They sent 30 messages before the 911 attacks, but we did not seem to take the warnings seriously. So they decided to send us their pictures. Unfortunately, we still did not get it. If the Rygate crop circle is too sharp to ignore, the Chiselton one in Wiltshire may be too hard to decode. It's not the complicated geometrical design we so often see in Wiltshire. There are codes, but not the kind we have gotten used to seeing. However, the mystery decoder can decode anything. We just can't guarantee the accuracy of the decoding. First, let's assume the center globe is our sun, and the five outer circles are the five orbits of the five planets closest to our sun. So the first symbol we run into is a dot inside a diamond. The symbol appeared between the orbit of Mercury and Venus. So the first symbol may mean Mercury. It is Mercury inside a diamond. The second symbol in the next layer is a V. I think this is to confirm it is Venus, as it is between the orbit of Venus and the Earth. There is an explosion type symbol next to V. I think it may mean an object on a collision course with Venus. And the bar on the other side of the V may be a position indicator. Again, I will try to run a planetary map to look for an alignment which resembles this crop circle. On the Earth layer circle, the bar seems to be tilted. It can mean a possible pole shift or something like that. But the tilt seems to be very minor. So it may be a major earthquake. Major earthquakes have moved the Earth axis by a few degrees as a result of the 2004 and 2011 earthquakes. Now, Let's move on to the Mars layer. The dot inside the darkened shape seems to show Mars. It's a smaller dot. So I assume it means Mars is dim on that day. The next symbol looks like a forward symbol on your TV remote. So I will call this forward and assume it means marching on of some object. Then the H symbol looks like a movement containing two boundaries. So I think it means little or no damages. The next symbol is a dark dot. Let's call that an invisible object. Can Mars be invisible sometimes? Next to that invisible object is a smaller dot visible. I will say, maybe we should look at the night sky during the period when Mars is dark to see if we can spot the object Nibiru. As the next symbol shows the dot brighter and bigger, I assume it indicates a time when Mars is more visible to us. And then the bar may be a location indicator. The next bar is tilted and it's next to a multi-pointed object. I will assume the symbol A. It's an intruder passing through on the opposite direction of the sun. 
The next symbol looks like a T. I assume it means an impact of some sort. The next E symbol may mean the effects of an impact. With the last dot resembling the object involved in the impact are gravitational pulls. With these wild decodings, I will not be surprised if I'm totally off. But if I don't put my decoding out there, maybe you won't share yours. Instead of trying to decode every symbol, maybe the circle means lots of flyby objects approaching from the asteroid belt which is between Mars and Jupiter. The Earth has had one close flyby, while Venus has one hit and a flyby. But Mercury is just fine. So, did I find a planetary alignment resembling this crop circle? I sure did. The date is around June 15th, 2018. Is this the correct date? I'm not sure, but this is definitely the best match I can find for the next several years. What will happen that day? I'm not sure. Before we end today's video, I want to share with you this message I saw on a documentary Unsealed Alien Files, Cracking the Alien Codes. In this film, a British soldier's 30-year-old encounter led to the decoding of some shocking messages. Of course, other than guesses, there is no decoding of that either. However, it does have this inspiring message I want to share with you. The universe has sent messages for us to decode, from mystic structures to massive etchings. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.